Hey there everybody, Doreen here, and welcome to another weekly vlog. So this week, um, this week I had a lot of stuff happen, right? I started taking calls on the floor at work, um, first day completely butchered it, like, legit, like, I did so bad. Cause I got like super nervous cause it was like the first day of the job, and yeah, I just kept messing up. And then the second day, I got a couple sales, it was going really good. Um, but I still wasn't really feeling it. And then the, the third day, yesterday, Saturday, um, actually went really well. I didn't really make any sales, but I kind of felt really comfortable and I had a lot of fun. Um, made some friends at work, started doing, playing some games with them. It was actually, it was, it was really cool. So I might sound a little off today and it's cause I'm really in my head right now. I went to my friend X's birthday event and, um, he does every year. I don't know. It got me thinking about a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Stuff from um, my past, stuff from recent, and then, um, you know, my future, right? And uh, I got to talk to a lot of people I haven't talked to in, in, a, in a while, catch up with some, some old friends that I haven't seen in a long ass time. And it was good, it was, it was good. And I'm not like sad or anything like that, but this is gonna be a very personal vlog, I think, and I don't really do well with personal stuff. One of the things that I'm, I, I was thinking about early on in the night was, uh, was my future and YouTube and all of this. And this isn't like a, I'm gonna stop doing YouTube videos in any way, it's not. So if it sounds like that, it's not that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop, but um, just think back to like a year ago, you know, two years ago, two years ago, I started this channel and I haven't really ever gone into detail or any detail, I think on YouTube about why I even, why I even do this, why I started. And, um, the fact of the matter is I was just lost and lonely and, um, uh, it wasn't a good time in my life. To be honest, I haven't been a lot of a lot of good times in my life until the last two years. So um, I have a lot of I have a lot of people to thank for that. Um, but yeah, so it was a it was a really hard time for me, and and YouTube. I didn't know anything about the YouTube community. I didn't know about Let's Plays. I didn't know about any of this stuff two years ago. Um, I, I heard about Markiplier. <laughs> I heard about Markiplier on Facebook. One of my friends had gone to PAX and had seen him and taken photos with him and they were making a big deal. And, and, um, I was like, who's this fucking Markiplier guy everyone keeps talking about? And I went on, I went on YouTube and I looked him, I, well, I looked him up and it took me to YouTube and I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I was like, he's just playing video games. And I didn't understand it. And then I saw a charity live stream. And I was like, all I knew at the time is that I had no direction and I had no passion in my life. And I desperately wanted to find something I could love and be passionate about. Cause I knew if I found that I would be consumed by it. And I knew if I found that it would become my life and I would be able to, to live my life through that you know like i am now like every day is youtube youtube is so much of my life because i love it i love creating things for you guys and it has become my life because i'm just consumed i am and i was looking for something like that for so long and i wanted something that i could also do that help people and then i saw one of his charity live streams and i saw how much money he fucking raised it was ridiculous i'm sure it's nowhere near as much as he does as he makes um in charity live streams now but um, he was doing these regularly at the time and he made a lot of money in, in donations. So I was like, holy shit, this guy's just like streaming on Twitch and he raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for this, for this fucking charity. And I was sitting there and I was like, all I do all day is sit in my room, play video games and, and cry. So I went to Fry's Electronics. I don't know if you guys have that in your area, but it's a, like a big electronic. It's like Newegg as if it, they had a store. And I bought a, <laughs> I bought a, a shitty little blue snowball microphone 
and uh, uh, a shitty little Logitech webcam that that I mean it did like 720 but like I had no lighting I didn't know what lighting was I still don't have proper lighting in my setup I just luckily have a giant west facing window that brings enough light in here to make it not look like complete crap but I I bought this shitty webcam I bought this shitty little blue microphone and I sat down and I I was like all right well what can I what can I play that people will watch and my first instinct was like oh well i've never played any of these like retro games so like let me play mega man and that was my first video um it's still on youtube if you go looking for it it's complete crap it's complete crap uh -huh. one day i'll do a reaction to it but and i sat down and i played mega man and i don't know like i never expected youtube one, to be so difficult, to be such a job, because it is, it is a job. I work almost as much on YouTube as I do at my actual job. And the only reason I don't work on YouTube as much as my actual job is because my body physically crashes at a certain point, and I, I mean, after a certain hour in the day, like, I can't function anymore. Um, I am literally grinding myself into nothing, but I'm loving it, so, you know, I'm gonna fucking do it. And, uh, and I made these shitty ass videos and I didn't ever expect to get to the point where I am now where I have like, you know, equipment. Like I, I'm sitting here in a room every day with like equipment and all this knowledge I didn't even know I wanted to have about uh, audio and sound and lighting and, and camera work and all this stuff. I didn't, I didn't ever expect to know all this stuff or to be involved in any of this stuff. And now I'm looking back, I'm looking back two years ago at where I was in my life and who I was in my life. And last year, to be completely honest, was one of the most difficult years of my life. I was, I mean, I didn't really even make videos. You know, I've, I've gone back and forth on making videos so many times because it's hard. It's hard to, to stay motivated for so long. Like, now is the first time that I actually feel like I have a community. So for the last two years, it gets very discouraging when you're sitting here making these videos and no one's watching them and you're making these videos and, and, and no one cares. God, this got depressing. I am sorry. This week, <laughs> this week's video is so sad. Um, I talked to a friend last night, a friend I really care about who I don't get to see very often. And I thought I didn't get to see them very often because they just didn't like me. You know, like they just, I, you know, I, I, I fucked up a long time ago and I was a dick afterwards. And that was years ago and I just never forgave myself. So I assumed that no one ever forgave me. And I, I met up with them yesterday and we, we talked for a while, for a good while, longer than I've, I've actually ever talked to them in years. And it was great. And I, I saw the same person I knew like years ago, like nothing's changed. I mean, things have changed, but um, I saw how hard life is for them right now. and. It, honestly like it kind of killed me because i was like you're such an amazing person why why do you have to go through this and then i thought about myself and i was like shit like i wasn't i wasn't in any better place a year ago and you know to be honest right now i'm i'm in a better place but it's not like by a long shot and and it got me thinking about i was planning on making a video about this topic anyways uh, I don't know if I'm going to, but I'll touch on it now. I don't know if this is the healthiest way to approach things, but I, I, I was depressed for a long time. I have always kind of had a problem with depression, um, and and I am extremely have a hard time connecting with people, like in a personal level, um, because of it, and because of other stuff in my life. Don't be afraid to reach out to people if that's the same thing. You know, if if you suffer from depression or you're lonely or don't don't be afraid 
to reach out to people. Don't be afraid to to trust people. There's gonna be people who are gonna hurt you and there's gonna be people who will leave you, but there's also gonna be people who don't. There's gonna be people who never will. I get sometimes it feels like you're in this hole and you can never get out, but you can. You know, find something you love. Find something you love to do. Chances are you already know what it is, you know. Me, I always, I always loved art, music, acting, drawing, all of it. I love writing, I loved the arts and I ignored it for so long and now that I'm embracing it, I am so much more fulfilled. And when you let yourself be consumed by something you love, it's so hard to stay depressed. Like I'm, I'm, I'm honestly like today is a depressing day for me and I'm sitting on this video and I know it sounds depressing as hell, but I'm actually, <laughs> I'm a lot happier than I was an hour ago because of this fucking video, because I love fucking making this. I love fucking doing this shit for you guys and find something that you're passionate about and just fucking do it. Just do it. Don't care what people say. Don't care about the people who say you can't. Um, don't think oh, I'm too busy to do this. I'm too busy to do that. Because if it's something you love to do and you do it, you'll be happy. It'll be worth it. It will. I don't even know what this video is about anymore. I'm just rambling. I am so sorry, you guys. It's been 22 minutes of me rambling on this fucking camera. And I guess that's kind of the point of, of a vlog, right? The whole reason I started these used to be daily vlogs and are now weekly vlogs is because I needed, I mean, my therapist suggested that I, I, you know, I keep a journal and I figured why not put it on YouTube? I have nothing to hide. And I think this is the first time I've ever really unloaded. I am sorry. I am sorry if this is not your cup of tea. I can imagine it's not listening to some guy bitch about his life. My life's pretty good. My life is pretty good, and I have a family that loves me. I have some great friends. I have a great job, two of them. And I, I have you guys. My life's good. I shouldn't complain. So in conclusion, some things that are gonna happen. In February, looking like the second or third week of February, we're going to be doing a charity live stream. Um, it's going to be at least 12 hours. I don't know how long, much longer after that. I haven't really decided. Um, the reason it's going to be in the middle of February is because this is something I want to do on a grand scale. You know, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to try and get as much set up. I want to do some promotions and stuff like that. So. Um, if you don't follow already follow me on Twitter, um, my handle is on the homepage and I will post a link. There actually should already be a link down below. Um, same with Instagram and Facebook. Um, keep posted on there. I am going to be creating flyers, internet flyers, right, whatever. And leave some suggestions of things you'd like to see on it. Um, whether it's games or more real life activities and things like that. It's not going to be just me. It's going to be a group of friends, you know, and I, I no, but we might not raise, you know, $400,000 or however much other people might raise. Um, but it's, it's a charity. Any money you raise for it, any awareness you raise, um, is still something, you know? And so I'm going to be doing a lot more of that. I, I didn't almost didn't want to for a long time because I didn't want to feel like a copy. I didn't want to be like, oh, look at me, I'm doing charity live streams, like, but you know what, fuck it, who cares what people think? Um, it's something I want to do. It's one of the reasons I started doing YouTube in the first place. Like I said, I saw Markiplier do charity live streams, and I'm like, that's something I want to do. Um, and now I'm at a place where I feel like I can. So I'm going to. Third week of February, second or third week of February, more details will come out in the future as I iron it out with other people. Um, I need to get a group of people to actually join um, and, and all sorts of sorts of other stuff um also going to be doing a stream later today um where i'm, I'm going to start streaming a little bit more in addition to my videos um so i'm going to be doing um drunk souls tonight <laughs> i like that name I'm, I'm pretty sure someone else has already come up with it but i'm going to take credit for it because i just thought of it so drunk souls tonight where i play dark souls 3 um hopefully with some friends and Every time I die, I take a drink. So I should get pretty wasted tonight. Thank you 
all for listening to me ramble about random things in my head. Um, I know it was very jumbled, and that's generally how things are in my head. Very jumbled. So, um, thank you for putting up with it. If you've reached this point in the video, it means you actually did put up with it, so thank you. Um, and other than that, if you, if you managed to enjoy the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, and like always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll catch you all in my next video. Later.